Yes, Zoom. All this experiment needs is a timer and a swing. So what is the experiment? Molly and Darren are going to count how many swings they can do in 30 seconds. And Mum is helping with the timing. Everybody? Yeah. Oh look, Molly's going first. For this experiment, it's important that they don't get a push at the start or while they're swinging. So let's see how many swings Molly does in 30 seconds. did 12 swings! And now it's Darren's turn. She's starting higher up. Yes, she is, Zoom. Go! Let's see if she does as many swings as Molly. Two. Mm, I don't think she will, Mark. She has to go much further to get over and back. Yes, but she's swinging much faster. swings. So it did take both of them the same time to go over and back. Hey, what are they doing now? <gasps> are they putting their teddy on the swing? Yep. They want to see if it also takes teddy the same time to swing over and back. Teddy, go. Oh, but she's much lighter than the girls. Yes, Yay. but remember, it should still take the same amount of time, no matter who's on the swing. Four, eight, nine, Eleven. Twelve. Stop. Twelve again? <laughs> it's always twelve. That's right, Zoom. Darren and Molly have proved that no matter how high it swings from, or how heavy the weight at the end is, a pendulum always takes the same time to swing over and back. Oh, nice work, Darren and Molly. Hmm. Yeah.